you know, I can hear our husbands downstairs. I thought we told them to be quiet. Yeah. Did we not? <laughs> I thought we did. Do I need to go down there and threaten to separate them? I'll send Bo a text. <laughs> I think you should. Yeah, send him a text. Okay. We're going to separate you two if you can't stay quiet. That's what you need to tell them. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. She's here. I'm here. I didn't know. I thought you might have to start without me <laughs> this morning. I keep getting these text messages. Okay, first it was ETA, <laughs> 9 o'clock, which is already a little, I was, you know. You're pushing it, yeah. You know, because I show up at her house like crazy early. She has to deal with me longer. <laughs> and then, oops, there's a slowdown, 917. Yeah, it was scary because that slowdown was lasting forever. It was an accident. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's always bad because I know yeah. somebody's having a far worse day than I am. And I'm like, okay, well, she's going to like fly in and slide in because <laughs> it'll be at the last minute. And then it's like, okay, now it's 9-12. I'm like, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I'm just going to go about my business, get things done. Yeah. By the we'll time we along. got there, it was literally just um, the back end of a trailer. So I don't know what had happened. They had already removed. I was on Cimarron the other day, 436 in Orlando, which is um, a very long and crazy road. And all these fire trucks and ambulances went by. Ooh, and I, yeah, when Eli was little, I don't, it wasn't because Eli was little, but when he was little, I started a habit with him in the car that when we heard sirens go by, we stopped and prayed because cool. somebody's having a far worse day than I am. True. So we're all of into you studios. We start every Saturday morning with this kind of crazy going on. Welcome to the Saturday morning. You crew. We're here every single Saturday morning at 9 30 AM Eastern time. This is Carolyn. She dyes all this awesome yarn. I'm Michelle commonly known the, as the mouth. Um, I do. <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, if you haven't yet, we ask that you subscribe to us because yes. that absolutely gives you notifications whenever we go live. And occasionally we do it at other times as well for special occasions. And then we ask that you give us a thumbs up. Tell oh, all your yes. friends about us because who doesn't want to be part of the Saturday morning you crew? Super, super excited. Maria's here today. Lots of people are here. Sharon and Carol that. and Judy and Liz and Christine and Karen Tulsa Trio's in the house. Love it. I've never been one of those people, but I've started doing it now. I feel like I feel like the appropriate response when we hear the Tulsa trios in the house is to like raise the roof. I don't, I don't, I've never been a party girl. I don't know what all that stuff does. You have to keep me straight. I might do something obscene and not even know it. I know you'll be offensive to everybody. Yes. Do you know what Connor said yesterday? What did Connor say yesterday? Just out of the blue, I said something. He goes, Oh, cool beans. And I was like, Where did you hear that? I used to say that when I was in high school. Yeah. And I haven't said it since. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> I got that from Brent back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day. And Connor didn't. He was like, I don't know. I just picked it up from somewhere. Hey, Virginia is here from, I'm Virginia? sorry, Joyce is here from oh. Alexandria, Virginia. <laughs> I was like, Virginia is here from Virginia. Look at that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I bet there are some Virginias who live there. Welcome, Joyce. So happy to have you here this morning. May is here. Tons of people here. Paulette, Tara, Luann. I love it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Carolyn's over here knitting me socks. Do you mm -hmm. believe that? They're too tall for you. You only like shorty socks. Because I got fat calves and kinkles. I'm a kinkle girl. <laughs> what can I say? Do you, uh, oh, Valera, oh, Valera brought up the DK sock sets. DK sock sets. We're going to talk about those in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But did they sell out yet? Are they on pre-order mm -hmm. now? So the DK sock sets have already sold out. They're on pre-order. So get your pre-orders in. Um, well, let's go ahead and talk about this yarn sure. first. So Why this not? is the U Crew Celebration yarn. Look at it. Now, there's a couple things I want to say, and then I'll let the dyer talk about it, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> um, you will notice in pictures that they look kind of different. They're just they're just twisted different. They are. They, are, they all look the same. The blue on this one is in the knot side, not the knob side. And this one is... I didn't know that's what like you call not a knob sock. I just made that up. Okay. I it might be considered <laughs> obscene. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so all the colors are in all the hanks. It's not like a toss-up between what you're gonna get. It's just the way that they were twisted up. Yeah. So you crew celebration. This is a limited edition colorway. And by that we mean if you don't get it now, you're not getting it because she is literally ripping up the recipe and throwing it away. It's not even going in the vault for a later time. Never so, ever. Right. So a lot of the bases are already sold out. We did put it on pre-order, but once this pre-order goes down and is exhausted, 
That's it. You crew celebration yarn is never coming back. This celebrates our five years in business. I started to go like this. It's five on both hands, not 10. <laughs> So five years in business for us this month. It's celebration month all the way around. I've only got literally a couple more anniversary pins. And I'm, they're already gone now because of the order that have come in. But um, yeah, our anniversary pins. If you haven't gotten one yet, I'm very sorry. They're very cute. Those aren't coming back either. Well, if you got one, you're in a better boat than I am because she never gave me one. And I have a feeling I'm not getting one now. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> how it rolls. Yep. That's how we roll. I manage this studio right now. I get to decide who gets what. It's the only power I wield. Let me just tell so you. So she has to have a heavy hand. Heavy hand with it. Keep you in line. That's right. Anyway, we're super, super excited about this. And yes, we're starting to do DK sock sets. We've talked about this for a month and um, finally decided because we had requests from people who were like, oh, I really love that yarn. Give me that in Homer and I'll take the minis and fingering weight. And we're like, why should DK knitters have to settle? That's right. So we decided to do DK sock sets. They're great because they really um, knit up super fast because they're DK weight. Maria saying no pin for her either. <laughs> See, Guys, Maria, you she doesn't love us. You got to put your orders in. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I got to quickly go place an order. That's huh? right. <laughs> you just got to tell me. Maybe I'll remember that when it comes time to dye some potato peel pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I put my order in this week for mm -hmm. my we'll potato peel we'll pie. We'll see when it gets dyed up. For my beautiful <laughs> pen You see what's happening. You see what's happening. Um, anyway, so we're super excited. So you crew celebration yarn, that is literally the name of it. Yes. And we're celebrating mm -hmm. five years in business. It really is beautiful yarn. I love what you did with it. There's all kinds of different blues and pinks and colors in it lavenders yep and i chose colors, colors based i looked up what are five-year anniversary colors did you know they have colors for anniversaries i did i didn't but i looked it up and these were the common colors and so i kind of took my own little spin on it and there you go it's adorable so um julie garland is the one who printed or or posted the faux pas on the pin would you have it any other way I mean, come on. What is more celebratory than understanding some of our quirks, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Or some of my quirks, shall we say. I proofed that pen and had other people proof that pen and yet it had an error. But you know what? What is it the Japanese say? It lets the evil spirits out when there's a, a crack or a mistake. Do they? That's Something awesome. like that. So yeah. Debbie Shrank mm -hmm. said no pen for number one groupie either. Oh no. They were while supplies lasted. Yep. It was all about placing an order. If you place an earlier order and didn't get a pen, let me know. But we're just about gone. Um, it is a pretty pen. We're really grateful. And um, our guy at our printer, we patronize a local printer. He did a big part of the design for us. Mm -hmm. He, however, did not do the proofreading. So I can't put it on Rick. I'm just saying. <laughs> Not his fault. No, at all. Definitely hey, not. we're gonna play five year anniversary trivia. Oh, who's up for some trivia? Now we have to. You have to explain the rules. Are they allowed to shout out the answers, or do they have to wait until the end? Yeah, I didn't even make a prize. Like I just was like, we'll okay, play trivia. I mean, we so can they can. Yeah, yeah, so y'all can just. But how we shout out the answer? Somebody, somebody's gotta keep track. Well, I don't, I don't think we have to that. give a prize. Okay. I just didn't know how, you know, you got to. Yeah, just shout out the answer. Yeah, shout out. You all know right. what we mean. Type in the answer. Type in the answer. You can you can shout it out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but I the mean, people in your house might be like, what the heck is yeah, going on? They might still be asleep. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. I, she didn't even know I was doing this. I texted it to her this morning. She, <laughs> she wasn't driving this morning, so we were being safe. All right. Number one, where was our very first yarn lounge? Where not, was our not what city? Right. What was the name of the brewery? Yeah. What was the name of the brewery for our very first yarn lounge? I remember that colorway. I do too. Mm -hmm. Very first yarn lounge. What was the name of the brewery? Oh, come on, y'all. Nobody's well, remember there's like a, a there's like a seven second delay. There's a delay. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. That's why we do the countdown in the morning now. Yeah. Oh, Cynthia got it. Cynthia got it. Yay. Deadly Sins Brewing in Winter Park, Florida. Good job, Cynthia. Nice. Okay. That was your warm up. Who oh, was our, I know they do. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a gimme to help you warm up, but yeah. you know, 
who was our very first customer? It's somebody you know. She's still part of the Saturday Morning You crew, although I'm not sure if she's here this morning. <laughs> who was our very first customer? Very online. first order online. Yeah. Very first order online. You guys know this. We talk about this with some um, regularity. Carol got it. Carol got it. Laura Blair. Laura Blair. That's yeah. right. Good job, Carol. I yes. love it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slip into a little a little more difficulty here. What was our very first fiber show? Like big fiber show? Uh, fiber festival. Fiber festival. <laughs> what was our very first big fiber festival? And again, not the name of the city, the name of the festival. Yes, the name of the festival. Thank you for keeping us straight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tara, interesting that you guess Dion. Dion um, actually found us after a little market. We did a little market at Deadly Sins Brewing. Yes. And she um, she came to that and that's how she found us. Mary, you know what? You're close. Um, I wouldn't really, I, I was torn about this answer. So we'll, we'll call it a tie. Uh. We, we, I, I was torn about this answer. But um, Valera. Valera got it. Fiber fun in the sip. The magical fiber fantasy retreat at Disney. We were there. We were there. And they had a little bit of our yarn, but it wasn't what I think of as a big True. fiber festival. Right. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, 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 That's a tie on that. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. That, that, was, that was a good yeah. one. That was good. All right. Where were we for our very first podcast? Very first podcast ever from Olive and Two U Studios. Where were we? And not the celebration toast, because that was. Yeah, no, no, no. Our very podcast. first actual yeah. podcast. I know you like all my backseat driving here. I, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I like it. Yes, Mary, that is where we met oh. the Magical Fiber Fantasy Retreat. Yep. Faith got it. Faith got it. And Starbucks and Tara, yep. and Tara got it too. Yay. Oh, Julie's got to go to an emergency at work. Oh, dear. Oh, no. All right. Good luck. We'll be thinking about that. Starbucks. That's right. Starbucks. Not on Carolyn's porch. We've never been on your porch, have we? No. I don't think no. so. That's, that's a good guess, though. That's a good guess. That'll be our backup space now. Starbucks. That's I don't right. I have a porch anymore. How, how appropriate for that to be our very first place for our very yeah. first podcast. That was before they had pink drinks, too. Imagine that. Okay. I'm if, impressed you know that. Now, if Laura Blair was here, she would probably get the next one, but I don't think she's here this morning. So let's see what happens here. Let's just bring up old wound, shall uh, we? Yes. What was the pattern for our very first knit along? Oh, when we were yet babes oh. and stupid. <laughs> we were not very bright. The very first pattern for our very first knit along. I want to revisit that pattern, I do by too, the way. Now that you say that. We should have done it like this year for our five, this month for our five year anniversary. That's what oh. we should have done. Mary Nielsen got it. Nice job. Done Eden. That's right. Yeah. Lucy Haig. She now, I was flipping through it today. Her patterns. She's got one called Iona and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I love her pattern. We're going to have to do a Lucy Haig knit along. Yeah, we're going to have to do a Lucy Haig knit along sip along because <laughs> I'm going to need alcohol to get me through it. Oh boy. Okay. Then you'll let all sorts of evil out. <laughs> <laughs> so many mistakes and so many e much evil getting out. Absolutely. Okay. Who were our guests on the podcast in Sarasota? This is a this is a tougher one. We were in Sarasota at a good yarn for that yarn a lounge. yarn lounge. Yeah. Who were our guests? You can tell by my grammar that there was more than one. True. Who were our guests? Mary Nielsen. Man, she is like the overachiever today. I, I'm impressed. MDK, Mary. which back in the day was Mason Dixon Knitting. Now it's Modern Daily Knitting. Yeah. But yes, the ladies from MDK. Good oh, job, man. Mary. That's impressive. Good job. <laughs> so I'll tell you a funny story. When I was in college, I there was a class that I just, I aced. I was very good at it. And the professor finally one day said, I need you to go take a walk because you know all the answers and these people need to learn the answers. Okay, Mary, take a walk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. That's that was terrible. supposed to be funny. No, it was supposed to be funny. Don't take a walk. You can guess. I like that you're guessing them and getting, getting them right. Them. I love it. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. And which issue of- Oh, no Mary was there. That's how she remembers. That's oh, that's right. Okay. 
I'm joking. Of course she was there. Mary, tell me you're smiling. I was joking. I'm impressed though. Okay. In which issue of Nomadic Knits did we appear? And yes, Mary, you can answer. Everybody should know this Everybody one. should answer, know this one. Because every time we say it. That's right. Mary Nielsen, Yarny is super fan. That's I love right. her. Okay. In which issue of Nomadic Knits did we appear? And you get bonus points for the name of the pattern. And that's what it was. You get double bonus points for the name of the colorway. I'll be interested to see if anybody remembers that. I will be too. Oh, good. Mary said she's smiling and sewing, sewing and smiling. Okay, that makes me and happy. And she got the answer. And she got the answer, Florida. Okay. Oh, Christine got it too. Christine got it also. And Aren't Christine Faith? got the name of the pattern. And Faith and Christine got the name of the pattern. I love it. What? Mary, oh, <laughs> oh my yeah, Mary's not competitive at all. all. <laughs> okay, double bonus points if you know the name of the colorway. Double bonus points if you know the name of the colorway. I bet nobody knows the name. Of the I bet color. they don't know the name of the colorway. I bet there's. Some I would have been hard pressed to remember the oh, name. Oh, I of the remember colorway. it. Ah, good guess, Doris. Oh, that is nope. a good guess. It was well before. I need to bring back that. Colorway. That's the one I was thinking of when oh, you walked in. That's what you meant when you said. Yes, okay, that's gotcha. the one. We need to bring that back. Come mm -hmm. on, come on, dig a little deeper, y'all. Dig a little deeper in your yarny use knowledge. You can do it. Dig a little deeper. If you have your um, nomadic knits next to you. you I know. I wonder how many. The... Like, <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie says it's probably in her stash. I don't know. We didn't sell a ton of it. Um, we were little then. Mary, that was a good guess. Cold shot was actually, oh, wasn't that the that fiber was... front of the sip colorway? Yeah. Good Which guess. Which Mary got some of that, I know. Hint, Michelle is wearing it and stinky pink. Um, nope. I'm not wearing it. I have nothing knit in it. Mm-mm. No, nope. I want to bring back that colorway. I know. I, that's the one I was thinking yeah. of. Oh, we're going to stump them. We've got them stumped. I love it. That's We've awesome. Stumped. All right. Are you ready to hear the answer? <clears throat> the answer is it's a jungle out there. It's a it jungle green out there. and blue and, and really pretty. Yeah. I love that color. It's in the first issue of Nomadic Knits, the Florida issue. And that's what they knit the BBT in when they first debuted the pattern. Yeah. Okay. Our last question of the day for Yarny Use Trivia is, what holiday was opening day of the Knit Nook? Y'all know that. What holiday is the opening day of the Knit Nook? Come on. And close to the closing day. And close to the closing day, our whole one-year run at the Knit Nook, <clears throat> which was an awesome run. It was. Still got to find a space. Go! Tara got it. Good oh, job. So Carol and Mary. Okay, they got it too. Halloween. That's right. Good job, Lonnie. Halloween. Y'all know that one. I that's love it. Awesome. Everybody got it. Marlene, Liz, everybody got it. Somebody said something. Definitely never seen that colorway. Yeah, it's yeah. been. It was an earlier colorway. We haven't had it, but we definitely need to need to bring it back. Find the. Um, oh, my pages are open. They're all there. Let's see. I'll look it up. You. Is it still there? Surely it is. Tara, she was there too. That's right. That's right. Maria's got her pumpkins up. Yeah. So that was where 10 questions. Y'all did really well on that. I'm impressed. Super impressed. Are you going to bring it up and show it to them? Yeah. So here it is knit up. Can y'all see that? That was, it's a jungle out there. Yeah. Really pretty colorway. It is. I love it. Yeah. Got to bring that back. Oh yeah. Super, super pretty. Um, so yeah, it was kind of fun to take a walk down memory lane oh, I'm so glad you did and, that. and thinking of all that. Carol says she's just looking at the BBT on Ravelry. It is a great colorway. Yeah. We're going to bring yeah. that, bring that baby back. For show. Baby got like back. It. We can do all the things with baby and back. <laughs> I'm a little wound up today. Can you tell? Yeah, you are. <laughs> a little wound up. A little wound up. That's all right. It makes for fun. It makes for a fun, mm -hmm. fun day. We had such terrible storms here last night. The power went off multiple times of course the dogs went absolutely crazy and were squealing and howling and it was like crazy town around here last night so maybe that's maybe that's what it's all about hey are you knitting me socks no no actually i'm not sure who these are going to go to i was making them for connor i talked about them last week do y'all remember this so i'm taking or i took the five minis from the july christmas christmas in july mini set and I am doing a fade. Well, I explained how I did the math last week. I'm not going to go over it again. I did the math wrong. Wrong, she wrong. Wrong. She told me that. And I'm like, you never get the math I wrong. I know. It's not, I like it's, have to depend on her for my math. It's not very um, 
exciting to know that the dyer who uses math every day can't do math right for for pattern. But to be fair, it's a vanilla Hello, sock pattern features. that I am um, <laughs> that I am um, fading myself. So I didn't have anybody else's math, and I'm using I was using five colors. I think part of the problem I know part of the problem was I well, I know where I made my mistake. The other issue is. I made the leg too long. Like this is the heel down here. Woo. My leg is usually 90 rows and I accidentally made this one a hundred. So on my second sock, you can see I had, I kept running out of yarn. I was like, this is ridiculous. So on my second sock, my fades are up higher because I kept, I was running out of yarn. So, but with pants on, nobody's going to see oh, that. And I, and I don't, I usually like my socks to be a little funky and different anyway between the pair. You're but, so edgy. Yeah, that's me. So, but I was making these for Connor because I'm making everybody in the family a pair of Christmas socks, but I don't think he's going to want them that long. Am I in the family? <laughs> if you're in the family, you have to come take a sock picture with us for Christmas. I'm just saying. So um, anyway, I'm not, I'm going to finish them. And then I've already figured out the math correctly. And who knows, maybe I'll write it up as a pattern if anybody else <laughs> wants to. Fade some socks. Fade some socks. They're very nice. I've been working very diligently on these socks all week. You'd think I would have finished them, but not impressed. Are you ready for my FO? I am. <laughs> I've been ready the last two weeks. I don't have an FO! Surprise! I have been a slacker this week. My I second sleeve. My, my second sleeve is still not on the needles, but I'm bound to determine I'm gonna finish it. So this is my BBT that's all but you know a what? sleeve. It's okay because the longer you take, the longer I have to dye up your yarn. Because you still have to do your... My, yes, early bloomer. Early oh, bloomer. you almost tripped up. <laughs> I almost tripped up. Early bloomer, yes. I'm going to get busy on my early bloomer. Uh, I just, for some reason, but I did put my order in for potato peel pie. So thank you for your input. I decided... It's at the bottom of the dice. It's... <laughs> It's like what I tell with Jim when I ask his opinion. I'm like, I'm going to ask your opinion about something, but I can't promise you I'm going to take right. your advice. Right. I just want to hear your opinion to put into my information yes. processing system. And um, I don't think I took anybody's advice on this. I just went my way. So I'm going to do it potato peel pie. That's a good color. It's yeah. neutral. So show us what you did work on this week. So what I did work on, and I, I apologize to anybody who's in any quilting groups that I'm on in on Facebook because I've been posting like a kindergartner who's proud of something that she did. Imagine that. So <laughs> shut up. Um, so anyway, I did. I've got my, my fall pumpkin runner pieced and... Um, and my quilt sandwich made. You want to help me? Yes. There's my fall pumpkin runner. How I'm gorgeous move it this is that? Way. It's three pumpkins. It's pieced and ready to quilt. Um, I love it. And I'm going to free motion quilt it. So, you know, I'll be proud of it while I can. Because once I start that, that's going to, is where it's going to look like a kindergartner did it too. <laughs> um, but I had a little tension issue. So I, I'm going to have to play around. I had practiced a bunch with free motion quilting to make sure my tension was good and to make sure I knew what I was doing. I've been practicing writing letters. I did a good job like writing love and stuff, free motion quilting. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in oh, just a second. you can put words in your- Yes, oh, you can put words that. in. And and I was able to do it. I, I got it to where I could manage. I had the speed of the machine and my movement, what felt like a pretty good, we, 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 we were as one. Nice. We were as one. And um, I was really pleased. And then I got this up and I got it on there. And then my bobbin thread started showing through the top, which wasn't good. And and I was torn about what color do I want to quilt it in because I've got the orange pumpkins and the black sashing and borders. And I was like, well, maybe I'll do orange on the pumpkins and do black and get fancy. Um, so, and but, the, but then the bobbin thread started coming up, which means I've got a tension issue. And I think it's because... I've always used Janome needles on my Janome machine, but I was reading and they recommended, somebody recommended organ needles, titanium in the right size. And I think that threw it off just enough to mess up my, um, my tension. It might be time to visit Mary again. So no, Mary doesn't <laughs> want to see me anymore after she sat down and did the bloody binding <laughs> for me. Poor Mary. And then she looked at me at crack. I'm going to tell all secrets, Mary. She looked at me and goes, we did plan this before you needed your binding done, right? I'm like, yes, we did. 
I didn't come just to get my binding done. I know that's why but, I made that crack. But I I want to do this um, runner um, because I I want to do it because it's a manageable size because I'm going to do the binding twelve times if I have to to get it right. I think I understand now what I need to do. I think I understand the concept of what actually has to happen. Although to be fair on the spider one, they were weird angles because it was, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. She said my top tension might be too tight. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm going to play with it a little bit, but I, I don't want to screw it up because I, it's really pretty. And I learned how to nest my seams. So my first pumpkin wasn't so great, but my subsequent two and third, second and third pumpkins were better at my seams matching up. So, um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Mary was with me when I bought the fabrics and I love, love, love the gray that I got. It's kind of moody. That's what we called it. Um, what was I going to say? There was something else I said that I would talk about. Um, but now I don't remember because it was so incredibly important, but no, Mary's been super, super helpful. That's what I figured too, Lydia. She said, that's the way you learn. Exactly. So, oh, I have a question. So my little machine it is not capable of free motion. Is that correct? Yes, it is. All you have to be able to do is drop the feed dogs. You can absolutely do that. Your machine mm -hmm. came with quilting mm -hmm. attachments. You don't have a lot of throat space, but you can do it. You can make it work. Okay. Or you can, or you can go see Mary. I can. I did tell Mary next project. I'm coming to see her. You know, I'd and Mary, to... I'm specifically coming for help. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're clear. <laughs> I, I, I want to do like the long arm. I'm like so smitten by the whole long arm thing. Yeah, that does. I really, cool. I think doing a long arm machine would be a blast. But yeah. Oh, words in free motion quilting. Yes. Mary said that secret messages are a lot of fun to do in there. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, because we got... Brent, my ex-husband who passed away, I, I hate saying ex, my former husband, we were amicable. Um, you talk about ex like when it's like nasty, my ex-husband. No, it's just my former husband. Anyway, um, his robe Eli got and wants me to do something with, and I'm going to make sure that I know what I'm doing because I don't want to mess it up or I might hire somebody to do it. But anyway, I don't think there's enough fabric to do a quilt. So I'm talking to Eli about doing a pillow, maybe one larger pillow and then a mini memory pillow. Aww. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to quilt in words of things that Brent loved? Yeah. You know, he loved the Golden Girls. He loved Diet Coke. He loved, you know, all these things. And to put those words in it, I yes. think that would be really kind of special. That would be very So that's important. kind of my plan. But we'll we'll see what happens there. Um, mm. absolutely. Karen says her curated you is out for delivery. Yeah, and everybody loved it. I loved it too. I don't know if there's enough for you. Why? Well, I was going to say, I didn't even, did I even see what it was? Yes, I think yeah. so. Maybe not. Diane says, if you change the fiber content of your top thread, it may affect tension. Interesting. I'm using hundred percent cotton, but I think, um, yeah, I think, I think it has to do with the needle. And I think, there was another thing that I thought so too might have been a problem with it. So I'm going to have to, but you know, messing with tension on a sewing machine stresses me out. Yeah. But I think I have a button that it'll go back to default. It's a Michelle proof button. Maybe there you go. We'll find out you if it is or not. So good point though, Diane, absolutely change the fiber content of your top thread. It may affect tension. I was trying to use, I was sad. I had bought back in the day when I thought, yeah, I'm going to quilt. I didn't know. I have a clue what I was doing. I bought some polyester Guterman thread and I'm like, no, I need, I want cotton, hundred percent cotton. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I've got plans for my next project already that I can't wait to get started on. Let's just say I'm going to do something with orange peels. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> I just like learning things. What can I say? I know you do. That's one of the things I love about you. You just have to keep I do. learning. Hey, we got a really nice piece of correspondence in the mail and it really wasn't about us. It was more about you all. <laughs> Absolutely. It is the thank you note from Parker Street Ministries in Lakeland um, because of the money that was collected during Worldwide Knit and Publix Day in Lakeland. I'll just read it to you. Dear Olive and To You Studios and all the yarn you use, mm -hmm. doesn't say that. Thank you for choosing to support Parker Street Ministries through your Worldwide Knit and Public Day event. Your $160 gift works with other gifts, volunteers, prayers, staff, and residents to bring gospel-shaped transformation to a generationally impoverished area of Lakeland. Be encouraged. You are making a difference. Periodically, you will receive updates that show the impact of your support. Also, please know that you've been personally prayed for by PSM staff. Mm -hmm. May God bless you according to his riches. 
So there it is from Parker Street Ministries, the thank you note. Yeah. Very nice. I meant to show that weeks ago and kept getting off schedule. So there's that. Hey, who's in for the Monster Musselberg knit along? Mary Nielsen. That. Yes, I do too. <laughs> but of course, we are always late for our knit along. We <laughs> can't keep a knit along. I don't think I've met a knit along deadline to date. Let me just say. I don't say. think I have either. Hmm. I'm not sure what that says about me. But you know what it does say? It says that none of y'all need to feel pressure. That's when right. When we do knit alongs, we are like the most accessible knit along ever. <laughs> You can be doing your um, Necroni Swimo in April for all we care. <laughs> <laughs> it all works out. That's right. You know, we need to start thinking about that because it's already. I know. A I know. We are so like on the fly. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, but the Monster Musselberg knit along, Mary Nielsen was the little birdie who said, hey, have you seen this? And we were like, hey, no, we haven't. <laughs> But let's go look at it now. So we did on Instagram. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. I bet Mary knows I it. I bet Mary knows it too. Um, very nice ladies who were doing the Monster Muscle Bird Knit Along. And just because we like to play nice in the pond, we donated a prize for it. So there's a hank of, I want to say it's No Limits yarn and an enamel pin that is going to be used as a prize in the Monster Muscle Bird Knit Along. I love it. I to make one i think that looks like I so much too. fun yeah you know this is based muscleberg is based on a world war ii pattern that was knit for soldiers out in the field because it is like a multifunctional item so you can use it as a scarf you can use it as like a double you know a two what's the word i'm looking for it's a simple word i'm 53 now i can't think of words well it's a hat but it's a it's like a double a double hat yeah yeah Anyway, I'm know. sorry. I, I'm my brain is. I call it double walled, but I don't think that's the word for <laughs> it's it. It's like the same thing. Anyway, it's it's got two layers. Yeah, that's the easy way to say it. Mm -hmm. We go back to kindergarten. <laughs> it's a two layer hat um, because it can go inside out and all kinds of stuff there. So um, yeah, Monster Musselberg knit along. The hashtag is in your newsletter, so feel free to hashtag it and you'll be entered for prizes. Go to their when you hashtag it, you'll see the post. Go to the post so you can see all of their kind of rules for the knit along so that you can play along and play nice and um, tag them, tag us. If you use Olive and to you yarn, don't forget your hashtag Olive and to you projects, um, hashtag to use for your monthly giveaway entry. Absolutely. So very, very excited about that. Nomadic Knits issue 12, Utah and Nevada has been on pre-order for not quite a week yet. We are down to, I think, 10 issues. We started at like 50. So <laughs> Um, get your order in now. We typically sell out of these. There's just a few left and available for you. So, and I got to tell you, these patterns, we were both like, huh, huh, huh. We yeah, really love the patterns. Cool. There's some really fun, edgy patterns in it. And we'll do a knit along. Of and we'll do a knit along there. And it'll probably be a choose your own adventure knit along. We'll pick a few patterns and you can choose your own adventure. I love the picture of the guy with his yes. shawl on in front of the Las Vegas lights. That's cool. Um, and the chick with the, she have purple hair? I don't remember. Maybe not. I was looking at the patterns. I didn't look at the hair. I, she, she looks a little edgy. She's got a cowboy hat very on. Cool. It may not be purple, but I was like, I want to grow up and be like her. Um, so some very fun patterns that yes. can be edgy or not. Um, but very, very cool patterns, so you don't want to miss it. Plus, it's meant for warmer weather because it's Utah and Nevada. You know, Nevada, we are in the desert in Nevada, right? So um, if you live in Florida or any of the southern states, it's one of those multifunctional issues that will work out well for us as well with the, this kind of climate. Yeah. So I think that's a really, really good thing going on. Our following retreat is full and we're super, super excited about that. We've been having so well, I've been having fun. <laughs> I text her and I'm like, this is what I'm doing. She's like, okay, whatever. Um, and you've been in a, texting in a, in a, me in a good way. some yeah. of the swag stuff. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking it. about. The Guys, swag. The yes. Swag. The swag. Is now, don't forget awesome. there are 14. Um, I'm anxious to hear what you're going to say. <laughs> um, what I've lost it. I am waiting with head. bated breath. <laughs> I like it when it happens to you. It makes me feel better. Oh, I, I've lost what? my train of thought. I'm sorry. I don't remember now. What 14. was I? 14. Oh, the swag. Don't forget, there's an extra person. Swag. Like, I need swag. Because you tend to leave me. <laughs> Girl, you get a paycheck. What are you talking about? You need swag. 
<laughs> I need swag. You need swag. Give me all the swag. All right. There's some fun swag in it. There's some very, very fun swag in it. Sharon, yeah. they're not complicated patterns. Some of them are more complicated than others. I don't think any of them are Dunedin level, so you should know. Yeah, about. they always have a range of yes a range difficulty. of complexity yes absolutely sharon says 14 swag bags <laughs> i'm just saying don't forget me don't forget i will i can I never forget it. you 14 swag bags I'm not sure that's um, a compliment <laughs> they're pretty awesome we're going to do some different swag for the guys so rest assured if your spouse is coming and we do have four spouses coming um they're going to get some cool stuff they're not getting yarn and stitch markers let mm -hmm. me just put it like that they're getting some cool stuff. They're getting some something pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're very, very excited. Lonnie says, I need swag for those that couldn't go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, but I'm I'm really excited about it. There's gonna be some fun stuff. Um, it's gonna be, yeah, they're asking for swag for the homebodies. We've tossed around some ideas. We haven't yeah. forgotten you guys. We'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, we have talked about it. Um, we'll we'll see what we can come up with. Oh, Lonnie says FO ahead, 750 stitches until bind off. Woo, that's enough to make me sweat. That's well, that's pretty good because I thought earlier she had a much bigger number. You must be knitting like a fiend this morning. Absolutely. I love it. Anyway, following retreat. I'm back to that. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you crew in the woods. Um, it'll be October 28th through the 31st. We're actually leaving on Halloween day, which I think is awesome. Oh, Sharon said she was planning on Peter giving her his yarn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can tell him he has to give you his swag too. His swag I mean, too. Yeah. It'll be good. <laughs> it'll be good. Marlene says we need a special colorway for those of us who couldn't go. We've got some stuff up our sleeve. We'll just say that we've got some stuff yes, up our do. sleeve, but we're super excited. Hey, to the, let me just say this before we move on. To the following um, retreat participants, you have received an email. Some of you received it twice now um, <laughs> that has a form attached that we do need back from you as soon as possible so we can have it for our records. It's all kind of that technical stuff. Um, so, yes, look in your email if you haven't received it. And if you don't see it there, please let me know and I will forward you an, an additional copy. Do we have these for you to use this week? Do we, uh -huh. I'm looking at our list. Do we have these for the yarn to use this week? Loaded. Oh yeah, I didn't want to call you out. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I just want to remind. Yeah, I didn't want to call me out. She was, she was, she was trying to slyly. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you were the one that got us off track. Just so I, I know, I did. I'm apologizing. No, I'm glad you. I'm glad you pulled me back. I'm glad you did because we did. We got distracted, didn't we? <laughs> All right. So we kind of went through the fact that she has a whip in progress, and I've got no FOS. Um, but we haven't looked at yours yet. And so we definitely want to check out your FOs this week. We've got four this week. Ooh. Well, I don't know that they're all FOs. I'm sorry. I may have misspoken. They're at least whips, if not FOs. So let's okay. take a look. How fun is that? Does it make you just want to dance? I love that tune. Just make you want to dance. All right, let's take a look. Here we've got Lori Ann Mead, and I'm too far away to read it. Can you read what that says? Not so much. My latest pair of socks done with olive and two yarn, almost done. He loves how they're turning out. Pattern is Just Add Magic by K.F. Jones. Um, and then I don't see the colorway name. Do you know what colorway that is? I do not know the colorway name for sure. Lori, she's on here. Can you tell us the colorway? Tell us the colorway name. Super, super nice They're looking beautiful. socks. I love nice the lace. looking looks. All <laughs> right. And then Melissa Strait also had socks. It was a socks kind of week in the yarn sure it was. used. Absolutely. Very nice looking socks. Now, this was Silver Bells, I want to say, mm -hmm. um, in socks. Good job, Melissa. I love it. And then, of course, Lydia, who is the sock queen, um, String of Light socks. Love it, love it, love it. So pretty. Ready or not from the 2021 Birthday Yarn Club. Hey, if you haven't got your birthday clubs in, now is your chance. But we need to get next year set up. We do. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Teresita. Oh, yeah. Terry, this is her Florida road trip, and she is moving right along. I dare say she's probably made more progress now since this picture. Oh, yeah. Because she's been rocking and rolling on her Florida road trip. I love those colors. Yeah, she did a good job. Such good colors. We love seeing everything that you guys are working on. 
absolutely love it. Teresa's here. Hi, Teresa. Yes. I love it. Super excited by seeing the whips and FOs. Plus, it takes away the um, focus of the fact that I don't have mine. See how that works? Absolutely. Hey, we've updated two colorways in the shop, and one of them is almost already gone now. So yeah. Clever Cup. You might remember this. We talked about Sarasota today. Mm -hmm. This was named after a cool little coffee shop in Sarasota called but um, bump the Clever Cup. Mm -hmm. Look at those pretty colors. You know what I love about this? It's so kind of citrusy and pretty, but it works as well for fall as it does for summer. It's so multifunctional. I love the Clever Cup, and I particularly love it on Rawlings. Yeah. I love everything on Rawlings. Can we just face it? I would almost wear that, and I'm not usually a yellow girl. Mm -hmm. I think I could wear that. It's got some orange built into it. Yes, so it, it does, if you love orange. And then Starlight Star Bright, which is different than the U Crew Celebration yarn, but similar, would be a fun color if you're looking for kind of not a high contrast is in the shop as well. And I think almost all of that is gone now too. I love those speckles on it. Starlight, star bright, super, super pretty, pretty speckles on that. Yeah. So updating the shop. And then you guys are always asking, we are constantly always updating our Coco Knits goodies. You can never have too many stitch stoppers. And I know I get requests. Do we have more stitch stoppers? The colorful ones are back in stock. For a while, we can only get our hands on the neutral ones. Have the, they changed the colors They again? have a little bit. So it's kind of a, a hot pot. You don't know exactly what you're going to get, but I love the colorful ones. Coco Knits, you just can't go oh, wrong with their stuff. They have the best stuff. Check out their tape measure. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Different colors in their tape measure. Really beautiful. It's locked at the moment. There it is. Tape measures. Um, and the row counter. Several of you I know have multiple row counters and have asked about those. They're back in stock as well. We're working on getting more makers boards for you. I know there's some people who want makers boards because um, I'll be using mine for the early bloomer. Anything that I've got a chart on, I definitely want to do that. So the link is in your newsletter for the Cocoa Knits products. Again, you can never have too many stitch choppers. And I'm going to tell you now, they make great gifts for friends. So if you've got knitting buddies and you want to be the star one night, show up. They're not expensive. They're like, I think, $10 or $12 a pack for these. They're um, so usable. Show up with a pack of these for everybody and you will be the star of the knitting group. They are awesome, 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 awesome. So yes, DK sock sets. We talked about those, but I'm just going to mention it again. They're going to work just like your fingering sock sets. You get the two mini. So fizz and fuzz. <laughs> Like champagne, is that what you were thinking? Well, okay, I have to tell you, do you, did I tell you what I, no, what I almost named the fuzz? No. I almost named, because it's a turquoise color, I almost named it Torkin. <laughs> well, that's funny but, because, because yesterday, was it yesterday, day before? For some, y'all are going to, for those of you who do, um, who do Wordle, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. You I sat down. Torque? I put in twerk for my first word. I have no idea why. It's just what came to my mind at 530 in the morning. Yeah. I almost named it twerking, like twerking turquoise. But then I thought, well, fizz and fuzz. But yeah, I'd like champagne. I thought that went with well with that. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. Carol says coconuts is coming out with delicates wash bags. They absolutely are. If you want some, just hit me up and let me know. And we'll get some ordered for you. Absolutely. One of our Yarny U's messaged me yesterday and wanted the gauge cloth from Coco Knit. So I went ahead and ordered that as well. We'll have a few extras in the shop. So Not after I get my hands on it. I'm just kidding. Watch it. You don't get no swag. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to hold potato peel pie hostage until I get the things that I want. <laughs> I want all the things. Yes. All the things. Okay, Jean. Why, thank you, Jean. She loves my sweater. This is the Soldatna by um, Boyland Networks or um, Caitlin Hunter. And I can, stand up. I can tell you the colors that I used exactly, Jean. So the blue is Spirit of Freedom. Then the very pale white, which is also down here. You see all the speckles. Um, well, there's also berry mixed in. But anyway, Inspired. Yes, please keep pointing to your yes, chest. So I'll, I'll, I'll look at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the bright pink is berry. And then the golden color is Pints and Pearls. So Spirit of Freedom, Inspired, Berry, and Pints and Pearls. If you want a kit for the Soldatna, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, work at it. We'll work that up for you. Just let me know. 
Yeah, let her know. Let and me then know she'll... the let me know the colors and how many you need of each tank, and we'll get it set up. Um, Paulette wants to know the color name of the yellow variegated. This is the clever cup. Yep. It's beautiful. Yellows, oranges, greens. It is gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. The clever cup. And it's amazing on Rawlings. Absolutely amazing yeah. on Rawlings. Beautiful stuff. You're wearing a knit. I'm wearing good. a beautifully basic tee. Let me pull it the right way. <laughs> um, just to prove that I can, in fact, knit. I do knit. The 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 pomp and circumstance one will be beautifully basic tea number four for me as soon as I finish up that sleeve and potato peel pie, which is on order, which I'm hearing I may never get, <laughs> um, will be number five for me. We'll if, you're, something out. if you're new here, um, then you may not know that I am on a quest to knit an entire rainbow ish because I doubt brown's in the rainbow. But um, an entire rainbow of beautifully basic tees, mostly because they fit me good. They're easy to knit. They're relatively mindless to knit. And they're they're just a great project to have around. And I, I like the way they fit me. So you have Stinky Pink, Journey's End, uh, Pomp and Circumstance. What was the other one? Happy Hour. Oh, yeah. You don't wear that one enough. Happy Hour. You know, purple. I... I'm just not as much of a purple girl. <laughs> I'm not. I I like purple. I don't think I've seen it on you. I've worn it. I've worn it multiple times. It's just not one I grab a lot because it's loud. It is loud. And I, contrary to popular opinion, I'm really not. I'm much more of an introvert than people give me credit for. Yeah. I know that's I always say when I pick out my clothes, I tend to pick neutrals when Bo picks out clothes and, and I usually get compliments on what he picks out, but they're usually much more bright colors. Yeah. But I think it would be a nice contrast to your hair. Well, that's what everybody says. Everybody says that it looks good because of my hair, but I just it's not the first thing that I that I grab. Hey, Luann wants to know what colors coordinate with this. So um Give me some sugar is is really kind of close-ish to it. It's not a high contrast. Swan white works really nice. Peach tea is good. All you can eat crab legs is good. Berry would work well with it. Hiberna would tone it down a little bit. Yeah. So there's some definitely some good colors in there. Um, burnt would be kind of interesting and fun because there is some orange in there on a limited basis Ooh. and it would really make it pop. So it depends on if you're looking for high contrast, low contrast, but there are tons of, of colors in there that would work. Till we meet again would actually be an interesting color as well to put mm. with it. would be very different. Any of those kinds of colors. Which speaking of Till we meet again and Burnished are on pre-order, but they're going down Sunday morning so I can get them dyed up. You heard that? Till we, I should have put the link in the newsletter. I did not. Simply use the search bar till we meet again and burnished in the same listing in the same listing. They're both in the same listing, not separate listings. And then you've got these, the U crew celebration yarn on pre-order as well, right? Yeah. Those will stay up. Those will stay up Sunday. because if you, if you don't get it on this pre-order, then um, you're not getting it because it's gone. We're not going to, we're, we're not, she's literally ripping up the recipe. I, I texted have her we yesterday. said that about anything else? I don't we think so. We reserve the right to die again. Yes, but. we do. But this one is actually not happening and there's going to be no special orders. So it's not one of those that you go, you know, six months from now, you know, I really like that colorway. I want to use it in a sweater. I'll just set me up a special order for three or more Hanks. It's not going to have the recipe. Lydia says broom riding cow using clever cup and midnight is great. I love mine too. Yeah, that's a great broom riding cow. It's getting time for all those. Hall I am really in a Halloween mood lately. I know you. Have I don't been. know what that's all about, <laughs> but I am in a Halloween mood. I want to make all I was looking at um, Riley Blake put out this really cool mod cat fabric. They've got a mod cat panel and it's like one of those funky um, black cats from like the fifties where you had the head that bobbled around cool. stuff. I've like literally have one of those panels in my, in my shopping cart on Etsy right now, because I really want to do a mod quilt kind of thing with it. I love it. Probably table runner. I'm, I'm a little, a little hesitant to do a full quilt just yet. I want to do some small More, pieces yeah. until I get that binding down. And I figure that's the better way to do it mm -hmm. is to do some small things and get that binding down. Lydia says, how about a Halloween or fall sock knit along? 
We might just do that. It's a great How many knit alongs can we do at one time? Hey, I think we can do all the knit alongs, especially Lydia can do all the knit alongs because she'll get the socks done in one day she can anyway. Do three knit alongs a week. Yes. And win them all. She could. She could. You guys are awesome. We are so very, very grateful oh, for Belair you. Oh, is eight. See, she's in. So that's she's two in. people right there. That's enough for a knit along. Let's all right. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Go, Lydia. Are we done? I think we're done. I didn't look through our Are we list, talked out? But I don't know. We get, that's, are you talked out? <laughs> are we, am I talked out? Let's hmm. see. We did that. I'm looking through our list. I think we did everything. I need to go do some knitting and some quilting today. Knitting and quilting. I got to get that tension issue figured out on my machine. It yeah. really, it was like when I'm knitting and you hit a spot that it's not going so well and you're like, oh, just never mind. No, whatever. You got to. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I have to finish it because I really nothing like else, it. change back the needle. Yeah, I might, I might change the needle and play with the tension. Diane had a good point about the fabric of the, you know, the, the um, thread. I got to, I got to play with it. I just, you know, when you've got a piece that you've pieced, like you feel relatively good about how it's pieced, you don't want to screw it up. Right. I don't want to mess well, it that's up. That's why I'm saying maybe um, just because you know the previous needle works, right? Well, I don't know in this case if it works, but. Well, you haven't had problems with right. it before. And I'm like, can you actually pull out the quilting? I don't know. I've got that top bobbin thread. Oh, I thought you said you could. Well, I mm -hmm. think you can, but I don't know what's going on. I'm look sure like. you can. Anyway, enough talk about my quilting. I've got knitting and quilting to do. You guys have loads to do, I'm sure. All the knitting, all the shopping for yarn and goodies at All of Into You Studios. We are ridiculously grateful for every single one of you, for everything that you do for us, and for hanging out with us on Saturdays. It is only because of you that we've made it five years and don't think we don't know it. We are completely yes. grateful for every support that we have for our small business. Thank you very much. Happy knitting. Let us know if we can help in any way this week. And um, we will see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye.